soil, we want to multiply and simplify if possible. So remember, we're, we're talking about following the order of operations. We're talking about please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So remember, we want to do what's inside of the parentheses first. So if we look inside the parentheses, we have the square root of 3 plus 7. But the square root of 3, notice how the square root of 3, 3 is not a perfect square. You cannot take the square root of 3. So the, the 3 stays inside the radical. And the directions want us to leave this in a radical form. So we're not allowed to change that to a decimal. So this is considered an irrational number, while the 7 is considered rational. So one of the things we want to point out is this. A rational number is a number that when simplified, the radical symbol is not present. So if you don't see the radical symbol, that means that number is, ration, is, is rational. So notice how the 6 is rational, but notice how this 3 still has the radical present, so it's irrational. Notice how the 7, there is no radical symbol present, so that's also considered rational. So some things to point out. Integers fractions and decimals are all described as rational numbers. So they all fall, fall under the category of irrational. I'm sorry, they all fall under the category of rational. So all the numbers that you're kind of familiar with are actually considered rational numbers. Irrational numbers are those that when simplified, the radical symbol still remains. Like I said, a calculator can be used to estimate. Otherwise, we leave it in what we call simplified form which means the radical stays. So a point to make here is rational numbers and irrational numbers cannot be combined unless estimating with a calculator. So if I look at this problem, if I want to simplify it, without a calculator, the radicals has to stay in the problem. So since I can't do what's inside of the parentheses, what I can do is use the distributive property. I'm allowed to multiply through the parentheses. So I'm allowed to multiply the 6 through there like so. So if I have 6 to the square root of 3 plus 7, what I can do to remove the parentheses is multiply the 6 through the parentheses. But notice how the 6 is on the outside, so it doesn't go inside, inside the radical. So the 6 has to stay outside the radical, so 6 times square root of 3 remains as is. But 6 times 7 can be put together. That's going to be a 42. So the 6 cannot be multiplied to the 3 because the 3 is still stuck inside the radical. So this stays as 6 times the square root of 3. So it stays as irrational, if you will. So this is what they mean by simplified in this case. It's multiplied and simplified. So that's all we can do in that problem there. But notice how, again, the 6 cannot go to the 3 because... The three is inside the radical, the six is not.